I'm with Manuel Manny Adakis here at Manny Adakis Organic Orchards in Franklin, Quebec. Manny, you're one of the rarities in this industry. You have a completely organic orchard. Yes, uh, organic. It's certified organic, certified biodynamic also. What does biodynamic mean? Uh, biodynamic is uh, sort of uh, maybe a notch higher, let's say, than, than organic, where the okay. list of a, a allowable pro input products is uh, a lot shorter. And uh, it deals with uh, making certain preparations and, and certain teas and stuff like that using whatever materials you have available on the farm, basically, is the <laughs> idea of biodynamics. No, we're here in a stand of gala apples? Yeah. How many different varieties of apples do you have? I got uh, about 12, 12 or so different varieties of, uh, of fruit that we grow here. I know we just had a, a, a really gorgeous ambrosia apple and I, I gotta tell you I've had commercial ambrosias before and there is a difference in flavor. Yeah definitely I mean I don't use any herbicides and I don't use any uh, commercial uh, fertilizers. So yep. we, we fertilize with uh, natural compost that, that we make from, from uh, green material that grows here and some, we incorporate some uh, sheep manure. In. <clears throat> you mentioned the kaolin clay that covers it instead of alar and some of those other funky things. So you can actually take an apple off the tree, yeah. bite into it, and, and what's covering the tree to protect it actually is... Is, is, is an edible thing. That, yeah. that's, that's, that, that's the whole idea with, with organics. Uh, we, we try and apply natural elements, stuff that you, if, if you could eat it, because you're ultimately going to be eating whatever you, you're applying. So, yeah. so, you know, in conventional, I mean, the, you'll go around and you'll apply a herbicide and you'll knock yeah. over all the weeds. So, in, in organic, we're going we're gonna to go over it with a mechanical cultivator and actually incorporate the weeds that are in there into the ground, giving, uh, making them a food source. So we, we grow clover and... and and uh, stinging nettle and the rest of that in, in between the trees and then we rototill them back and, in. And it also helps your bee population. You said you have natural wild bees here that are... Yeah, we, of course, we, we maintain... Uh, we ne the idea of biodynamics is not to have a monoculture or something. So you don't plant your entire land. You have to sacrifice open fields to yeah. uh, have an environment to host beneficial insects because your beneficial insects are what, what are going to do your, your work for you. You're not relying on chemistry anymore. Yeah. So we're in the gala. We, we just tasted the, the ambrosias. You, we right. just saw some honey crisps and some pink ladies. Right. You also have Spartan. <clears throat> we saw the goldens. Yes. What other varieties do you have? We have uh, some of the earlier stuff that was out earlier. Uh, Sunrise, uh, we have uh, Polar Red, we have Jersey Mac, we have Vista Bella, we have Macintosh, Cortland. And they're all organic? They're all organic. And you have pears also? We have pears, we have different varieties of pears. We have Bosch, we have uh, Flaming Beauties, we have Harrow Gold, Harrow Sweet, Danju. Wow. A whole, a whole uh, different uh, array of uh, pears as well. And the reason we're doing this interview today is, is the fact that we sampled a bottle of your Eros apple cider right. at a dinner party Friday, yeah. and we were all blown away. Uh, People don't realize that. that you guys make a, a, an apple cider, I think it's 12%? Yeah, it's not naturally 12%. We don't add sugar. We don't uh, add alcohol. It, it's all done naturally. I'm a, I'm a natural winemaker, mm -hmm. so I don't have a you know, a suitcase full of uh, analogical uh, chemicals, because uh, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but there's probably over, well over 60, anyway, different kind of products that are used in, uh, in, in winemaking. Well, just the nitrates and stuff alone. Yeah, there's, there's you know, usually you start off with uh, a yeast, mm -hmm. so you want to kill any yeast that are in there, so you, you add in uh, some kind of product, uh, to kill the existing yeast mm -hmm. and then you add your yeast and then you uh, let it ferment on high temperature because time is uh, time is money obviously so you're not yeah. going to ferment for too long so they ferment for a short period of time and you were telling me some of your ice wines and your your ciders won some awards in germany and some other yeah, competitions we, yeah for sure we picked up a uh, full uh, 92 points and gold medal in uh, international open competition in germany where we were competing with German ice wines and, and other products from all over the globe. 
that's that's amazing again to yeah. come all the way from Quebec and Canada and compete yeah. with traditional wine growing countries exactly yeah. and, and we they were really really impressed and so they gave us uh, they gave us a gold medal and uh, that, that we were really happy to get that we're also I'm also in the uh, there's a group in France that's called Les Appellations uh, du Vin Naturel, mm -hmm. which is uh, spearheaded by Nicolas Joly. So they've made a little group of uh, natural winemakers. So you have to be certified organic, certified biodynamic, and then you have to meet their criteria. Mm -hmm. well, so far, there's not a single winery in all of North America that's been able to make it on that list, except us. No. We're, we're on that list of natural winemaking in France. So in order to impress people in Europe, you, you have to be doing something right. And it's not like you come from a, a long line of apple growers. I mean, Greece isn't traditionally an apple growing country. No, uh, it's not, but it, it's traditionally, uh, I mean, an agricultural based uh, economy, or it used to be, I mean, now the economy's all over the place, but they used to, we, Greece used to do a lot of olives and a lot of oranges and, and uh, trade all over the world with that in uh, ancient times. And you started your, your orchard in the 90s. How do you attribute your, your rapid success? Uh, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of, uh, I mean, I did a lot of research and development and uh, just a lot of dedication and, and uh, non-stop hard work basically. So how many liters a year of cider and, and ice wine do you make? It, it varies because we do it the natural way so we, we let the fruit actually freeze out on the trees mm -hmm. so it, it all depends on how much stock we have or what not uh, will, will influence what amount that we'll make. Well for instance last year how many how many liters would you have? Last year we didn't make much because we got hailed uh, we unfortunately got hailed three times, Whoa. so we kind of lost a lot of the crop. But uh, in 2011, we made, you know, probably 12,000 liters. That's not a lot. Uh, it's, uh, ice wine, it's, it's a pretty significant amount, you know, mm -hmm. when you're looking at, at, at an organic organic production. We're coming up to a tree with a darker apple on it. What's that? Uh, this one right here? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a Spartan, a random Spartan that got... You know, planted in in amongst, Gala country amongst the Galas here. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just amazing to walk through rows and rows and rows of apples. Yeah, and you're in a very very scenic tourist area over here up in Franklin. I mean, you're right near the Covey Hill Road where you can yeah. see out to Montreal and and from your own property, it's yeah, we're right on top of a hill here, which is uh, ideal because we get a lot of a lot of strong sunlight, which mm -hmm. which, which adds to the flavor of, of the fruit and uh, gives us a very unique terroir mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's, it's all about terroir, it's all about the soil. It's all terroir about. is, for people that don't know? Terroir is uh, the structure of your soil, mm -hmm. the particular weather conditions, the climate of that given year mm -hmm. and the grower's input will define your terroir. So it's the mix? It's the mix of the soil you're in, the year's climate, and the grower's way of growing that gives a wine uh, its its unique flavor and its unique terroir. And of course, when, when we do wine, we ferment with our natural indigenous yeast mm -hmm. because that's the true definition of terroir. I mean, if, if I import a yeast from France or Spain or Italy to introduce it to my juice, uh, Will it actually yeah. be hard to war? Because I mean, the yeast is what decides what will be broken up into alcohol, what will remain as residual, and uh, it'll basically decide the whole structure of your of your wine. Now, people come up on on weekends. Are you open during the week too? Yeah, we're open during the week yeah. in, the, in the month of September and October. So people come down; they can actually pick their own apples, which yeah. is always a great experience. Absolutely, they can taste and purchase your wine and cider. Absolutely. And for those that can't make it out to Franklin, you guys have a website? Yeah, we have a website. And uh, what's, what's the name of the website? Uh, it's either organicorchard.net or vergerbiologique.com in French. And you guys are on Facebook too? We're on Facebook uh, under Eros Certified Organic Apple Ice Wine or under my name, Emmanuel Manidakis. And Twitter? 
Twitter as well. You got it all covered. We got it all covered. All right. We're and also uh, participating in the uh, Love Your Local Business Contest, mm -hmm. which is sponsored by uh, CBC. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we should try and help get you some votes. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we, we, we got to work. That's it. If we get a votes, then we can get a spot on uh, CBC. Okay. That'll uh, promote our, our products. And is is are your are your ciders and wines carried in the uh, SAQ? Yeah, the uh, we have our uh, our two ten, our two ten ice wine, our apple ice wine, our apple ice cider in the SAQ, and our uh, still ciders in the SAQ also. What about in Ontario? Uh, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, we're, you know, we're trying to get into uh, U.S. and into Ontario. There were some gentlemen here from China actually yesterday that wow. want to bring it over uh, into China. China wants all our good stuff. Yeah, it's because Canada, I mean, has a reputation of uh, high quality uh, produce. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Chinese are in a position right now where they have uh, certain monies available to them that they're looking to get a better quality uh, product than, than, than what they have. Mm -hmm. So they're apparently Canadian goods are in high demand. All right. So we're trying to get trying to get in there. All right. Well, thank you very much.